the whole space has been very dynamic in the last few years. Um, it's gone from companies not sure whether they want to get into the market, will the market be fast, will it grow fast enough, um, how much of grocery buying will occur in an E type of environment. It's running, about, I think the most recent numbers say that it's about 3.5% of grocery sales last year were, were in, through e-grocery. But at, we're still at a point where that means different things to different people. Does it mean you put in an order online and there's somebody scurrying around a store to pick it up? Um, there's a timing issue there. Um, and some companies like Walmart are seeing that there are congestion, aisle congestion issues. Um, one Walmart executive said last year that one of the challenges is that they're seeing congestion in store aisles and their most profitable customers are customers who go and do the work themselves. Drive up in the old fashioned way to the store, go in, do their own order selection and come back out. And for obvious reasons with the, uh, the overhead that's incurred with doing uh, picking on their behalf, that's a cost that changes the, the uh, cost model. So different companies are looking at different ways of how they deal with this. Do you do, you do the, uh, uh, the traditional grocery distribution? Uh, do you set up grocery distribution that is specifically focused on e-grocery? Um, or do you do um, store-based um, uh, ad technology to stores? There's a variety, of variety of ways of looking at it. The jury is still very much out on what the best model is. Uh, companies are a lot of experimentation. It's a very dynamic and exciting time as a result, both for people who are technology providers and also for, for grocery companies. Um, I worked with a company last year who was very much trying to figure out from a strategic level what are they going to do, uh, how, how will their customers react. They have customers in very uh, small towns, uh, st stores already in very small towns, and then they also have stores in very large cities. Um, so there are some basic questions. Will the same model work in more rural areas, urban areas, or in suburban areas? So there's still, still a lot of changes happening within the industry.